Alter. So this is where they fish for ice. Yeah. <laughs> no, they fish for fish. Okay, come on. Hey, MNTU family. It's Sarah here with Artemis. And we're actually on Ghost Lake here in Cochrane. And we were just learning about ice fishing because some people were just here ice fishing. And so we were learning about that and we'll just be um, exploring some of Cochrane today. Oh, he's got an allergy. Okay. I'll keep him back. Here, Jacob. Hey there, MNTV family. Yeah, go, Guess where we are today. That's right. We're at Ghost Lake near Cochrane, Alberta. And boy, do we have an exciting adventure in store for you. As we were exploring this stunning frozen landscape, we happened to stumble upon some friendly folk who were braving the cold to do a little something called it's ice small. fishing. Now, if you're like us and you're wondering what exactly yeah. ice fishing is, then stick around, because we're about to dive a little bit into it. Let's go take a closer look at this fascinating winter activity and see what it's all about. Nope, never ice fish, never stood on a frozen lake. <laughs> Actually, we have. We have. Yeah, we have. watch where you're going, by the way. Dad, we have. You're, you're coming in at the end of the season, so it's not safe to actually drive on the ice right now. Oh, yeah, for sure. But uh, <laughs> if you come in during the season, uh, the ice is thick enough that you can actually drive on. Oh, wow. And this lake, if there's no snow covering it, it is very, very crystal clear. Uh, very deep though. Yeah. We're in 20 feet of water, but if you go over there, it's about 60 feet right there. Look. Wow. So, but if you go on the back side, it's about 100 feet. Oh, you can scuba dive in that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so don't go in that water if you're not good at swimming in Actually, the uh, summer. I've seen people um, do scuba diving here. Yeah. Yeah, what they do is they uh, have those little uh, buoys yep. that tell you that they're down there. Yeah. And they, they do that uh, uh, scuba diving. I think that's a course that they do. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know what structure or what they'll see down here, but I know that they do that. So. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's okay. But yeah, so they come in different uh, um, versions as well. Mm -hmm. Some are insulated, some aren't. Yeah. So where was your hole? Uh, I it's already it. done. Oh, okay. There's <laughs> some. Well, you probably were over there, so. Oh, okay. Five feet of water. Yeah, they have some hole. And there's a guy. If you want to take a walk, there's a guy way over there. Oh shoot! Yeah. I think he's somewhere around there. He hasn't come back. No, they have a hole over yeah. there. They got a hole over there. So, so how? Take a nice walk. <laughs> So how long will the ice last? Uh, you know what? <laughs> to say, nobody can tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the shoreline, it's already uh, uh, deteriorating. Melting already. Mm -hmm. But here, you're in about 20 inches of ice. 20 it's inches? Still, yeah, it's still pretty clean. Clear ice. Crazy. So it depends on the ice too, right? So, yeah. But uh, if, you, if you find nice clear ice, you're good for a little while. But uh, near the shore, you don't want to drive. For sure. Cool. There's an interesting thing you guys like to see. There's sort of like a, a pressure ridge. Yeah. Yeah. Right there is the whole river. Uh huh. And this is called the Ghost Lake. Ghost Lake. Yeah. When they when they uh, merge, mm -hmm. they usually create this pressure ridge right here. Oh, okay. And this is one of the dangerous, uh, most dangerous parts to actually drive because your your vehicle can go right through the ice. Yeah. That's just like the part that I'm seeing just past that uh, yeah, stick see, there. Somebody put yeah. that stick on there. That's the pressure ridge. Okay. Yeah. You'll see one over here too. There's a gap in the ice right there. Right, yeah. So yeah, you don't want to be driving on that or walking close to it. So. Yep, that's why I told you, you only walk where you see footprints. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the safest thing to do. <laughs> Anyways, that's not only a logical thing to do. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's what we do. When we're driving on the ice, yeah. follow the trails until it ends. Fair enough. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you. <laughs> you too. 
So if we wanted to, we could actually follow that guy's footprints and go that way, but... Oh my God, <laughs> so that was our impromptu ice fishing lesson. We weren't expecting any of that at all as we came to explore this beautiful landscape. See, look at that. Every once in a while you come somewhere and you just suddenly learn something new. But now continuing on, and yes, this is the same day, enjoy about three minutes of our puppy just absolutely enjoying an outdoor dog park. We had the possum pleasure of visiting the Jim Uffelman Memorial Park in Cochrane, Alberta. Picture this, a scenic off-leash dog park nestled right along the river where our fur baby Artemis had the time of his life making a whole bunch of new furry friends. From energetic tail wags to playful zoomies, it was a tail wagging good time for sure. So grab your leash and let's join Artemis on his adventure as he explores his doggy paradise. Next, we're hitting the pavement and exploring the charming streets of Cochrane, Alberta, on foot. From quaint shops to picturesque views, this town has it all. They're chickens! Feed the chickens tuppins a bag! From rich history to vibrant atmosphere, and what better way to cap off our adventure than a visit to the iconic McKay's ice cream. That's right folks, McKay's has been serving up scoops of happiness for generations and we're about to indulge in some creamy, dreamy goodness. So let's take a sweet detour and treat ourselves to a cone of pure joy. Strawberry, please. Waffle cone. Unless you got something for free. <laughs> Ice cream, what'd you think? Um, delicious. It's pretty good actually. Better than all the other cotton candy ice cream I've ever had. Honestly, it's 
once I hit the wrist cookie dough, I got it. But like, I didn't even look at any other options because like. You know, I'm pretty sure I have up. film of you saying you wanted bubble gum. Yeah, but then I, <laughs> and then Jake mentioned um cookie dough. Oh, okay. Cookie dough's just better. Cool. All right, everybody. Ice cream. Cheers. Cheers.